This is David Rovix with a song for today. One songwriter's take on the history of the world, one song at a time. Available wherever you get your podcasts. The world's first use of a nuclear weapon against the civilian population was when the U.S. dropped an atom bomb on the Japanese city of Hiroshima on the morning of August 6, 1945. Three days later, in the world's second and final use of a nuclear weapon against an entire city, the U.S. Air Force dropped a nuclear bomb on the Japanese city of Nagasaki. Between both cities, 200,000 people were killed initially, and then in what the doctors began calling concentric circles of death, waves of thousands more people were dying each coming week, depending on how far away from the epicenter they lived. Of the initial deaths, many were nearly instantaneous, people turned into shadows, vaporized in the sun. But many thousands of others lived long enough to walk to one of the two rivers running through the city. So many people walked to and then died in the water. The big rivers overflowed their banks. The U.S. leadership were aware that Japan was seeking to surrender, but intentionally avoided communicating with the Empire about this until after they had dropped the atomic bombs. The cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki had been left unbombed during the war, along with several other cities that were candidates for annihilation. They wanted to see what would happen to a fully intact city. The victors write the history books and conduct the war crimes tribunals, so no one from the United States ever went on trial for the intentional killing of hundreds of thousands of women and children in cities that were not even conceivably valuable military targets by any definition. The factories had long since shut down for lack of parts. Any man old enough for military service was already off fighting somewhere or dead. During the so-called conventional bombing campaign of Japan, most of the country was destroyed, much of it by napalm. Untold hundreds of thousands of people burned alive. Japan was bombed so much that the heads of every branch of the U.S. military complained to the president that if the Air Force kept bombing Japan so much, the U.S. would be morally indistinguishable from its enemies. The answer they got from the Roosevelt administration was to keep on bombing. Every U.S. president since Truman has threatened to use nuclear weapons. This is what is meant by the phrase, all options are on the table in military speak. Ten thousand children Played in the playground Swinging on swings Didn't hear the sound Of the single plane That flew overhead The third shift workers Were just going to bed was a flash of light and a rumbling noise gone in an instant parents, girls and boys ten thousand mothers were boiling rice a thousand prisoners of war Hoping they'd survive This terrible storm When each young man in his uniform Vanished in the air In the blink of an eye One moment they lived On the next they all died Resting their legs 
10,000 farmers were looking at their fields, planning the harvest, guessing at yields, dreaming of life after the war. The next second they weren't living no more. This has been a song for today from David Rovix, making popular education popular again. If you go to davidrovix.com, you can hear lots of other episodes of this and other podcasts, see where I'm touring next, and get on my email list. You can also click on CSA there on my website and join my community-supported art program, which is mainly how I get by in the free streaming era. I hope to see you sometime soon again here on the internet or on the road and hopefully in the streets.